Hello everybody, it's Mike. I'm Mike. That's Denise, my wife. Uh, we're here to do a, an overview or a recap of the first ever inaugural health optimization cruise 2024. We're on the ship, we're on the ascent. We're about ready to head out. This is like the big center area that has a big piano and restaurant space in the middle of the ship. This is the ascent, it's brand new. This is January 2024. It first sailed in mid to late November of 2023. So brand new ship, brand new event. We're gonna give you a recap, especially if you're considering for 2025. And if you're watching this, which you are, otherwise you wouldn't be comprehending what I'm saying, you already have the option to buy tickets, you have the opportunity. Go to healthoptimizationcruise.org, and I'll tell you how you quickly do it. Healthoptimizationcruise.org, click on 2025, and then you'll have to pay the mandatory, or it's, 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 mandatory event fee, okay? It's mandatory for 2025. You must pay it first, and then at that point, you can contact Liz, and Liz will get in touch with us. Did we see somebody we know? Oh, our comma? Is that Okay. That's our, okay, that's our kava. All right, so can we take that with us? <laughs> that's kava and kratom is what we had. That's what we had this year. I doubt we'll have that next year. We might, who knows. But we wanted to provide an alcohol and caffeine alternative while we're drinking our tea. So, coffee and tea that we're getting here at this little al cafe al bacio. So, uh, and actually the staircase behind us is where we had our group picture. And if you're gonna look at the website, hopefully that group picture right on that lighted staircase behind me will be up on the, um, on the website. So let's give an overview. First of all, I think this was a first for cruises overall and our, our plant, a plant-based diet.org nonprofit who produced it. It was a brand new boat. It was all healthy vegan food or better. If you don't know what that is, go to healthyveganfood.info. So super healthy. Not actually, it's not the healthiest. It's just meets the minimum standard that we can in good conscience call healthy. We hope we didn't injure anybody who was eating that food. We had multi-courses at every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay? Right. There's and, no way we could injure anybody with our food because <laughs> it's super healthy. The only thing that wasn't healthy was a, a gift that we received for a, uh, two couples. One, one had just gotten married and another was celebrating a wedding anniversary and they gave us some vegan chocolate cake. Yeah, I'm going to flip the camera around. Actually, well, it's, but, it's, it's not over there. Well, let me show you the case. The case is, is right over where those people are standing. Right there. Well, right there. This is the case. In front of the coffee, right between the, the lights and the where those people were standing. They actually they moved away from it now. Let me show you now. Now you can see it. It's full of full of cakes and pastries. There's only one. A, sorry for that interruption. So um, that over there, they have a vegan cake of the day, and it was not compliant. Everybody tried to sneak it. I know they did, and even Denise wanted it. Every time you went by, we hope that next year, and I'm predicting that we will get that one single vegan cake of the day because the other ones weren't. We're not vegan. We'll get that compliant with our healthy vegan food so that people can enjoy it, have cake whenever they want and not have, to, not have to feel guilty about it. All right, well, let's go back and give a recap. We have so much to talk about in so little time before they kick us off the ship. What do you want to talk about first? Uh, the, the destinations were great. Uh, next year, we're going to have all new destinations, but this one included the Grand Cayman Islands. I had not been there previously, and I've never seen so much clear water. And, and that's where we went snorkeling at Stingray City. We got to actually touch the stingrays and feed them. Was yeah, that was actually a way better excursion we, and, than we had any of us had imagined. I think that was the consensus of everybody was there. So if you had never done that, and it is vegan, I believe, it's vegan, because what you do is you get on a, on a boat and you go way out into the water, way out. And then eventually you get to a sandbar basically where it's like four feet deep and you can see to the bottom and there are stingrays all over swimming by all through that area and when you can even pick and touch them and hold them and they feel like the heaviest mushroom you've ever picked up in your life and they're giant yeah, they're, giant they're slippery um there was a, a dance party on the pool deck one night that we went to and they were handing out glow sticks and um, there were dancers here that helped us <laughs> would dance and it, it was a lot of fun um, that, that probably happens every night i'm guessing on this show uh, maybe because yeah. upstairs okay in the in the center area where you usually have like the big pool which they do here 
and a big uh, gathering area, they usually have a big screen, like a TV, right? They didn't have a TV here. They had like a DJ stand is what they had. So somebody put their computer up there and they were just, it's set up for parties, I guess. It's set up less for TV viewing, like your standard American, I guess, and more for like adult parties, I'd say. That's what, it, that's kind of the setup of this ship anyway. Less less kid friendly in general, but there were, there were, were there kids? There were some kids there. There just weren't many, and they're not restricted. There just weren't a whole lot. Uh, I enjoyed Dr. Josh's talk on reversing dementia. I didn't know that was possible. Uh, I really enjoyed Cody's talk on um, lifestyle, but she mentioned some of her former heart patient um, heart patients were, were getting repeat heart surgery. So, yeah, you, you want to avoid that. <laughs> Change your lifestyle so you don't need a repeat heart surgery because it was really heartbreaking <laughs> not to point a phrase and what happens when you don't change your lifestyle uh, some favorite desserts we had a, a cheesecake parfait that was really delicious uh, they custom made us a vanilla cake with strawberry filling at my request yeah that's because we right in the seat i think we we're in this exact seat we saw the kitchen manager come by that we have been in constant communication with which is which they're, they're fantastic all the service people the chef the head chef the, the kitchen manager and also, um, who was the other person? The, the hospitality person as well. The, they had the name for it, I can't remember what it was. But anyway, he was walking by and we said, hey, can you get us a cake? Just like the, the cakes over there in that case that they're, are they unloading that case right now? I think they might be. That, there it is, the case right there. Get us some cakes like that, like the vegan cake that actually meet our requirement. And so he did one night and that was, the Denise said, the strawberry vanilla. And then we hope to have stuff like that. Like get, the chefs are, they're up for the challenge. They're getting super creative. I didn't think it was possible, but I'll tell you, I ate three. I ate three. I had multiple courses of many of the, my favorites. That was one of my favorites. Three slices of cake for dessert, in addition to my whole other meal. And I didn't feel like, you know, if you, you ever, you know what that feel? This is a general feeling of, oh my, it was so rich. Other people say it's so rich, or it was, you know, I don't know. That's the word people use, but usually that means there's oil in it, okay? And there was no oil in this stuff, so I never, that feeling never hit me. I was full, I couldn't eat anymore because I ate three slices of cake after a complete dinner, but I didn't feel that way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to come join us so you understand how you can still enjoy a nice dessert that you like, that was custom designed for Denise. And it did not hurt our health or even temporarily put us into a food coma, <laughs> okay? The raw brownie was another favorite. I had two of those that there was coconut whipped cream on top. Yeah, let's talk about that. The coconut whipped cream. That was a that was a an evolution just in the time that we were on the ship. So much of this was. These people were the whole everyone in the kitchen was had a attitude of continuous improvement. They didn't have any frosting or whipped cream, right? Initially. And I we were talking to them and the next thing you know, one of the desserts was fruit with a new uh, whipped cr topping that they made out of aquafaba. The problem was it wasn't that sweet, right? We noticed that right away. It wasn't sweet at all. It all right. like whipped air. <laughs> okay, but they took the feedback and then the next dessert they came up with was this brownie. It turned out it was raw. And we hope, we're trying to hope to get the, the, uh, the, uh, the recipes. If we do, we're gonna put them down below in the link. So you'll have that. Hopefully you will. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a raw brownie and they did the whipped cream like Denise was talking about. And they sweetened it with either maple syrup or dates. Hell, like maple syrup. And it was great. It was, everybody said it was like one of the best desserts. And then that parfait that you like, they, I think they did the same thing. They used the aquafaba whipped cream that was sweetened. And then the cake too. And somehow they thickened it up. So it was a multi-layer cake with icing in the middle and on top and around like a regular cake. I didn't think that was possible because we, we know we are in this space with people. And a lot of times you don't get these like super, I guess, rich, like they say, desserts, because they can't figure out how to do them because you can't make it that calorically dense. It won't hold together, yeah. you know, but they, they figured it out somehow. We had some banana ice cream with ginger in it. I never would have thought of putting ginger in banana ice cream, but it was delicious. Yep. And uh, our uh, apple pie last night was a la mode. There was ice cream, ice cream on our apple pie, banana ice cream. <laughs> Right. It's nice to have all these treats. Now, something I did notice the last two days, we had a couple, well, they, they, they went more than we thought on the raw meals. But initially, we thought just a raw lunch on the days at sea, so there was three. Turned out it was lunch and dinner they did raw for us, which is great. Turned out that as we went, the last two days were a lot higher in 
fat, I think. And um, you know, we say no oil. No oil is part of our standard, but there's workarounds like they use coconut milk for one of the soups, raw soups cold, which is good, but it was iron fat, okay? And then the other thing, they had some avocado soups. I know they're a little bit, they're probably a little bit better, but still higher in fat. And then that apple pie you were talking about, a lot of nuts on the crust. I mean, it was really nutty. I mean, everyone loved it, but I'm just saying, and it was, it was. I guess it was a good way to end it because we were really, really lean, super lean, and you got those last two days of like more indulgences, I think. And, and there was no repeats. I mean, they did a custom menu for everything. That's why we hope we can get it out to you guys so you can see what we're talking about. And they were doing a lot of some of some of the folks that were raw on our cruise. They were getting raw at every single meal. So we've already decided, along with the the crew and the kitchen people that next time we will have a cooked section and a raw section and these are all multi-course meals what three four five courses mm -hmm. per meal yeah. so and it's all and none of it's repeats yeah well the uh, breakfast options are the same oh, every yeah. day but there's a ton of options for you you can get everything if you want or just pick and choose but i got oatmeal every day I'm yeah french toast yeah french toast mm -hmm. uh, that actually is compliant mm -hmm. with the stuff i i was mm -hmm. eating every multiple plates of that every single day at the same meal at breakfast yeah fresh fruit there were hash browns hash browns and um, um, what kind of beans were the, were baked beans baked beans so yeah and then we tried one other thing today we tried uh, some of the suggestions some muffins and we've had we, we meet at green for organic cafe they have some fantastic muffins these didn't live up to that they're gonna need some work we got them this morning uh, as a last minute tack on here at the end but we hope that you know they will improve and get better for next time. Yeah. So the, the food wasn't very spicy at first. The, some of the first meals that we had on like Monday and Tuesday, some people thought were bland, but then they, they brought us out lemons and uh, some spices, some chili pepper that you can add yourself. Yeah, that we found was really good because if you wanted a little more zing, you can squeeze that fresh lemon. Uh, and it already had lots of herbs in there, but that that helped to, to bring out more of the flavors. And then the other thing is, if you like it hot, you can take just the sprinkle. People put sticking like a little knife in, getting a little, a little bit and, and tapping it in, right, and stirring it. And that, that cayenne pepper really spiced it up if you liked it. Yeah, and they brought a balsamic in case your salad wasn't dressed enough. <laughs> and some of the some of the favorite entrees that that were either spiced or unspiced were like the eggplant or uh, moussaka. Uh, the, the shepherd's pie, what else? The, the, the cauliflower steak. I mean, these are incredible oh, dishes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, I, we can't say enough good things. And I was telling people that I felt like, you know, I'm, Denise and I, our nonprofit is the, is the one running this event. So we were having to manage everything. And I, we weren't sure there was so much uncertainty going into this and it worked out way better than we ever would have thought. And that's because of celebrity here, okay, specifically. Of course, we had to oversee to make sure they were doing everything right, and we had super, super difficult specifications. No added oil, no added salt, no refined sugar, no alcohol, it has to have plant fiber, and no animal products. Nobody's ever had, probably had multi-course meals the entire time for a week meeting this stuff, and they had to make them all different every single time. And what was the other thing? Um, oh, I felt like I was just not managing the project, okay, or, or this whole event, but that I actually owned the restaurant like so i went for, i felt i mean it could have been like just like a restaurant manager right but i felt more like i was an owner here because i was just like snapping my fingers and they were just going uh, <laughs> they go out and do it well, there's a lot of feedback to incorporate too and our travel advisor liz i'm sure was working behind the scenes to incorporate some of that as well so thank you liz and our, our the food was so good our vegetarian friend brad even stayed vegan for three days <laughs> No, no All right. So way to go, Brad. That's excellent. And we didn't really go to any other restaurants because our menus are special. We had we had the Cypress restaurant in the back on the same level four, way in the back. It was like there was like a dead end, and it was our home basically for the whole week. We'd go back there, and we have our custom menu there. So I didn't. We didn't go to any other restaurants. There were plenty of other ones that have plant based vegan stuff, not compliant. It's not going to be. We're not going to make that same, you know, statement that it's not going to injure you because <laughs> fortunately it does. The, the yeah. cooking demonstrations were amazing. We were in the Eden restaurant. We didn't eat there, but we went down into the Eden and then down uh, a level inside the restaurant. And there's a double or triple height windows out straight out the back with an amazing view of the seas. 
and that's where we did our cooking and a, a dedicated cooking kitchen there for display uh, and we did our cooking demonstrations there. Yeah, the, the ship uh, from Celebrity had their own chef who was very welcoming. Jeff, <laughs> and, it was yeah, Jeff. Jeff and so so and Jeff, yeah, food. Jeff apparently has been with Celebrity for 17 years and Costi or Costantino, he was the main kitchen manager who oversaw all of our regular meals, but Jeff did the cooking demonstrations. Yeah, so that was nice and everyone was allowed to sample <laughs> the, the results too, and they were delicious. <laughs> yeah, so it's unusual for us, because usually we go around the whole ship explore, and usually it's limited vegan options, limited plant-based. You know it's not gonna be uh, conducive to your health and it'll probably gonna injure you in some way. So we didn't experience any of that because we didn't eat the other meals. I didn't even have to throw that dynamic in there. Although it was there, it was kind of tempting for some people. And even, although one meal we did do different, we went and got pizza one night. Uh, no yeah, cheese. Yeah, we did try the cheeseless pizza. Yeah, it was, yeah, I thought they did a good job. Yeah, so if you're hungry after dinner and after partying, you so can one am, get one pizza am, right? So 1 a.m., yeah, exactly. And there were so many other restaurants you could have made. Many of them had special oh, yeah. Eden. Chef Jeff had a special multi-course. Vegan tasting menu. Yeah, I mean, we didn't experience any of that. No, we didn't but have time. we're the organizers. You guys can do that. We, we didn't go in any of the hot tubs. You guys can do that. We just didn't have time. We walked every morning, though. Yes. Every morning between either starting at 5 a.m. or starting at 6 a.m. Sometimes no, seven. Was it seven? No. 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 Okay, we're always <laughs> up early. And we had some regular. Brad was our only regular every single day. But we had many others join us during during the time, so we appreciate that. I didn't join the yoga either, but I got a picture. It looked great. And uh, this for this cruise, we only had one track of events going on at any given time. And if you didn't like it, you, you could use the ship's entertainment, which a lot of people did. But next year, we hope to have concurrent tracks, dual tracks. So if you don't like one, yep. track, go to the other one. And some of the talks that were given were like Denise said, reversing Alzheimer's, uh, what's the cause of heart disease and heart attacks, how do you prevent those, exercise, the importance of exercise, we did one on mental health, uh, there were all kinds of talks on, uh, Dilip gave one on food, just the whole general kitchen overview and things that you want to have in your kitchen, food preparation, things like that. The captain has made a bunch of jokes the whole time. I don't hear him now. Yeah. Speaking in, his, in his Greek accent. Yeah. I think, yeah. I, I, Dr. Harrington did the talk on exercise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, uh, what other talks did we say? So, there were talks. The talks took place, in case you're wondering when, every at sea day, and there were three. This is a seven day cruise. Three of the days, four, four we were at port, three were at sea. And all day, every day between the end of breakfast and the beginning of dinner we had talks even some talks were after dinner mm -hmm. they, uh, they competed with the ship's entertainment you still had access to all the ship's entertainment which is really good the ship all the parties everything else going on so there are so many choices as to what's going on the ship's brand new uh, one of the things we talked about is this ship has so many other tech features that a lot of the older ones don't like we were at port one day we noticed that the other ships had smoke coming out of their uh, exhaust pipes when they were sitting there because they had to run their diesel engines to generate electricity. This ship was plugged in at port. As long as they can do it, they do it. They turn their engines off. They just get their electricity from you know, more efficient methods uh, on, on land. Yeah. That's one of the many, many things that was different about that. So um, what else can we say? Dilip gave some good talks of, about cooking <laughs> and uh, he let us watch the updated version of Code Blue, so people could yeah. understand. Basically reversing, or pretty much reversing, multiple sclerosis, and, and most people don't even think that's possible. That was a really good yeah. movie. And then also, Ava, she's 14, right? She gave a talk uh, from her perspective about all of what's going on with trying to basically take care of yourself growing up in the, in the world today. And it didn't seem, uh, she's out in, where are they? Um, Nebraska. Nebraska, okay, so, but, it sounds like it's still, it's, it, it just, I don't know, I would have thought that we'd be a little further along, but we're not, so. No, she gave a, uh, some insight on uh, the effects of uh, all of the animal agriculture on the planet. And, and yep. Encouraging everyone to go plant-based. All right, so what else can we tell you? So basically, this was like a, a first time ever type of an event on a major cruise line, on a brand new boat, in the middle of the winter, the winter, it was gone, there was no winter here. It feels cold now that we've arrived back in Florida because this is in the Caribbean. Next year will be all new ports, like Denise said. The food, okay, we're uh, we're, show, we're envisioning what to do for next year. Tickets are available. We're definitely gonna have what we had, this exclusive healthy vegan food menu the whole time. We're gonna have talks the whole time. We have more talks. The question is, 
how are we going to, I don't know, do more? Uh, and there's a lot of ideas out there. I was talking with Dr. Brian Strickland this morning and others. So if you have ideas, please either comment them down below or get in contact with us. And our email is the same as our nonprofit, which is aplantbaseddiet.org at gmail.com. Or you can just text me, 240-205-0417. That's my number. So let us know what you want to see in, in an event like this. We want, though we do believe that everybody should have opportunities like this where you can go and have fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and not hurt your health in the process. Okay, that's what's missing from the travel paradigm. Yes, we know there are vegan events. Yes, we know there are plant-based events. Well, yes, there are a, an event or two that meets some of these or most, even if most of these food uh, stipulations that we have, but they're also at a significantly higher price point. Okay, that's the other thing. This needs to be made affordable so that everybody can afford it. Yeah, some of the cruises, vegan cruises are twice as much. Yeah, and even, and even if they're gonna have, even if they have the food at the level that we do, which almost all of them don't, they don't have the education component, okay? So, and uh, they don't have the, all the entertainment on board, like this ship has, all, everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is like the whole package. It's like, hopefully it's appealing to as many people as possible. Because everyone, you know, from our vision of the future, everyone is doing this. We get to a point where, you know, you're always learning something new. And the next thing to learn is this, which is how to not hurt yourself. Basically, yeah, we don't have to recover from this cruise now. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that, that, we don't. I ate so much. There were a couple of days I've said this. People watch me. If you haven't seen me eat, you should see me eat. Because what that one meal where I had three of the desserts, right? Mm -hmm. That was a meal where we had shepherd's pie. So I had two entrees of shepherd's pie, mm -hmm. and then the soup was so good. I don't know what that was. Like, a, is that like a butternut scotch soup? Mm -hmm. I had two of those as well. For, that was the appetizer, and then I had a salad because the salad comes with. That was my meal. That was one meal. What about that night we had rigatoni? <laughs> Did you just eat yeah. one no, I had two of those, uh, and uh, and that was was that the brownie dessert? No, that was the brownie was on the raw one. But okay, and we're gonna cater for raw and um, cook people. Like I said, for sure next year we're gonna have uh, multi-course raw or cooked choice at every meal. It, that that seems a, a, vert, a, a certainty for what we go. Now the other things that we're brainstorming on, we're not sure, so I'm not going to comment on them right now. But just know that if you really want to take care of yourself, you really want to have to not go backwards. Not to say that there's not temptations, because there are temptations here, and you can still go to any of these other restaurants. You can order the plant-based and vegan stuff, which is not health optimizing. You can order animal products, unfortunately. You can order alcohol. Uh, we did have a talk where we, we do believe the consensus of those that are here that we're going to keep our private dining area uh, animal product free. Okay, we didn't make any statements on that this year. We weren't sure how this was going to work out. I don't know. What do you think about that? I mean, yeah, I agree. We, we should have had a policy on that to begin with. Uh, so maybe next year. Uh, we'll well, in, invite people, we're inclusive, we'll invite anyone who would like to come and learn more about the benefits of a plant-based diet, but it would be best if you don't eat animals in front of the other vegans. <laughs> yeah, be, yeah. It would be better. Oh, and Lisa Wong uh, gave us a talk about your inner doctor, and she mentioned that maybe we should have more female-focused uh, presentations in the future, like how to avoid ovarian cysts, because they can turn into ovarian cancer. So Yeah, you talked about one about after, life after menopause, yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, balancing hormones. So if anyone wants to give a presentation on that, let Mike know. <laughs> yeah, we need one on, we need some mental, although we, there, there were some mental health experts that were here as guests that we're not giving talks. Maybe they will give a talk for us next year on that. Yeah, because Dr. Canals, we're talking to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 we'll see We'll see how that goes because we that kind of combines everything that was discussed in most of the talks in the one talk almost because yeah. it's such a complicated issue, but it's something that, uh, you know, has just, it has yet to be explored thoroughly. A lot of what we're doing has yet to be explored thoroughly. So we hope to uncover a lot of new information. And I did, I learned a lot of new information uh, on not, I wouldn't say like if someone gave a talk, I didn't learn, you know, 50% wasn't new to me, but maybe, you know, a third of it 
and so on some of these talks was new information that I was not familiar with. Yeah, and it was fun getting firsthand information from Dr. Strickland on what his patients are saying. He didn't mention any names, but he talked to a lot of people that were you know, actually getting off their diabetes medication and making life changes. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. The, the, the physicians and other medical professionals that we had uh, on this cruise were, are all practicing medicine. They have actual experience because a lot of what's going on out there with health is not the knowledge, not a lack of knowledge, because everybody has this device you're probably watching this on has all the information of the entire planet on it. Mm -hmm. But that's not the problem. The problem is convincing folks and successfully transitioning them over to not hurting themselves, which is outside the paradigm of ev almost everyone's lifestyle now. That's why they call it lifestyle medicine. That's what that's the, the challenge. And these people who are in lifestyle medicine who are on our cruise and will be next year and practicing it are, I think that this is where the new focus needs to be. I, I don't, there's really not that much dispute, I'd say internally on what the process is and what you need to do for the food and the exercise and everything else, right? There's not that much dispute. It's how do you actually get people to do this? And that's why like the people hopefully have had made friendships here that will last a long time keep in touch through social media you know we live in a great age where it's free to communicate with people we can video chat all day if we wanted to it's no problem mm -hmm. yeah, we even made some new friends people that live close by that we didn't know were around that's so, true and we, we learn new things from each other new ideas and better ways of doing things and, and that's what it's all about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so so that's basically it hopefully this is something that appeals to you share this video with others give us your comments if you were on the cruise if you weren't if something that we said doesn't quite meet your needs what would you want to see on an event like this that what do we have to do because i will tell you we had a huge list and liz our travel agent did a great job of getting every, almost everything met not everything we're still working on some things but even when we were on the boat we went through a process of improvement that i would say that um, i couldn't believe okay that's us we have to go now that's, that's our that's our cue okay all right so we have to go so yeah so we have to go we have to go and uh this let us the challenge is we have to integrate this into existing vacations lifestyles everything and that's what we're doing with this event we're trying to do the best we can and celebrity is the only people that is actually really willing to take a risk uh, out in the open market and do this so we appreciate it yeah. all right we made it out of the ship we were the last people off the boat actually liz and hamilton who are the travel agency that helped us out, they actually were right in front of us. So they thought they were the last ones. We were actually the last ones. Mm -hmm. And what else do we want to say? Last parting words, go to healthoptimizationcruise.org. You can sign up for 2025. Like I said, we are, it's a constant uh, evolution of an event and we want people to learn how to take control of their own health. And we want to provide the food and the support and the challenging education, all these things I think are needed together to, in order to reshape society because we, we know it's not gonna do it on its own. <laughs> right. uh, and like I said, there's still temptations on here. Is this not like, is this an immersion and a retreat? However, it's not a, uh, you're like, it's not like you're living in a bubble because you're still having fun, you're still having entertainment, still having dance parties, still having other tempting things, all right? That hope. So if you're with somebody and you're not on the same page relationship wise, uh, with your diet and your lifestyle, this is actually maybe a good option for you, yeah. right? It's just like what we said earlier in the video, we're not gonna allow any animal products in our, our private dining area going forward. So just keep that in mind, you know? You just have to, to know all that and, uh, and understand that you wanna do the best you can. Doesn't matter where you are in your health journey, just that so you wanna improve, because there's always improvements, always things to learn, and you wanna do the best you can, right? Anything else? Good analogy. Um, you, you, you wouldn't want to go to an AA meeting and ask everyone if they mind if you took a drink. <laughs> well, yeah. You can do that somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. So take this into the weeks. It is an immersion or a retreat for a week. It really is, and it's what you make of it. Because you still have freedom here. You still have choice, and we and we hopefully will be encouraging you to make the right choices. You know, because yes, in the real world you have choices too. You're not isolated. So this is not a vacation of isolation, right? But we're still challenging you at the highest level. Yes. All right, so we'll see you, uh, and we'll give a summary of, of next year at the same time off the boat after 2025. Bye. Bye.